I'm Anna and today's show we are going to be tasting Japanese candy. So as some of you know, my birthday was on April 27th and one of my presents was Japan cream. Okay, so when I open up the box, this is what it looks like. Mmm, 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 so pretty. We are going to start by trying the Bonsuke seaweed. It says these wheat snacks are sweet and savory just the way we like them. The sweet and unami soy sauce glaze mixed with the saltiness of seaweed make it an irresistible combination of flavors. Mmm, that is what it looks like. And it smells straight up like seaweed. Now let's try it. Mmm, it's like a fried puff that is salty at first but then it has a sweet aftertaste and the seaweed is not super overpowering it's really crunchy it's a little bit oily because i am guessing they are fried but they are so good this one has a thumbs up then we have banana man and it says fans of banana flavored snacks rejoice Banana Man is a banana marshmallow covered in banana white chocolate and filled in the center with milk chocolate. The taste reminds us of the chocolate bananas you get at the beach or at a carnival. Oh, it is squishy like a marshmallow and it kind of looks like a little banana. That is surprisingly good. I thought the banana flavor would be overpowering, like a banana Laffy Taffy that I hate. I don't really like those. But the banana flavor is really subtle, and I taste mostly the marshmallow and the chocolate center. Really yummy. I like it. Next in line, we have the Gotti Gotti Cheese Twist. And for this one, it says, These fancy twists combine camembert and cheddar cheeses for a unique flavor that you won't find just at any cheese snack. Open it up. It tastes like a really hard Cheez-It. It's good, but I think it has a sweet aftertaste. There's something addictive about it, and I think it's that it's pretty salty, and our tongues like salt, since we have salt receptors. <laughs> but if I was to go to the store, I wouldn't buy it again but I will eat this whole bag. Is that weird? So then we have Monokoshi Wataro Corn Puffs. Spicy Doubanjiang. Spicy Doubanjiang. Hopefully I am saying it right. I am probably not saying it right. Oh, let me read it. These slight and crispy corn puffs are here in a perfectly unique flavor. Chili bean sauce. Doubanjiang is a sauce popularly used in Zhenchuan, Chinese cuisine. So if you are a fan of Zhenchuan food or just like something spicy, this one is for you. I do like something spicy, so let's try it. Oh wow, these are huge. They look like they will be super small in the packaging. Look at that. What's my thing? It is a corn puff. And I like the flavor, but I feel like it's a little too salty for me. The texture is really good. It crumbles in your mouth when you eat it, just like a cheese puff. I feel like it has a slightly fishy flavor. I can't really taste the spiciness. Medium salsa is like spicier than this. The only thing is that it is a little too salty. But it's okay. It's okay. Then we have this thing right here that is literally the biggest thing in the pack, which... I am not super excited for. It has sakura in it, which is cherry blossoms. And I am in love with the cherry blossom. So I will be really sad if I don't like this because the packaging looks adorable. And I actually got to see the cherry blossoms for the first time three weeks ago and I vlogged it. So if you guys want to see that, that's gonna be up here. So this is actually called Mike Popcorn, Spring Clam and Sakura Shrimp. And it says, everyone knows you've gotta have popcorn at the movies. This unique twist on a classic snack is perfect for spring, the season for clams and shrimp in Japan. <sighs> Please be good. I'm going to be really sad if this doesn't taste good. Are they, oh my gosh, they're a little bit pink. You won't be able to see it, but the sprinkles are a little bit pink. And it smells a little clammy and funky. So let's go and try. Hmm. I really want to give it a chance, but no. Mm -mm. No, I don't know. It tastes bad. <laughs> it actually smells like my hedgehog, like hedgehog food. It tastes very artificial. It doesn't even taste like shrimp chips that I've had before that I actually like. And it has like a slightly bitter taste to it. Uh. 
so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to throw away this whole thing. Well, maybe someone else will like it, you know? Hopefully. You let me down. <laughs> and it looks so cute. I wish, I wish we could have loved each other. But I guess now we gotta part ways. Now let's try some potato fries, salt, and butter. Potato fries. Oh, forgot to read it. Okay. So, these potato chips taste just like thick cut french fries. The crispy texture combined with the savory butter and salt flavor help make these chips an irresistible one and perfect for snacking. Hmm. Let's see how irresistible you truly are. Oh wow, they are thick. So the flavor is good, but what I don't like about them is that they are fried or too buttery. They just have too much oil around them. So because of that, I am really excited for this one. We have a gummy choco strawberry. And it says, chocolate covered gummies are super popular in Japan and all of Asia. If you've never had them before, here's your chance to experience the fun mix of textures and flavors. Mm, mm, mm. My mom always says, don't open things with your tea, but my mom is not here, so. Sorry mom, if you're watching. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Guess you gotta be a rebel sometimes. Just kidding. Always listen to your parents, kids. Always. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing! That is what they look like. Hmm, that's really good. There's these cranberry or blueberry chocolates I get at the grocery store, and they taste exactly the same, except those have dark chocolate and actual fruit inside. Well, I can't tell if this has actual fruit inside, but um, I am guessing the one that I get is a healthier alternative, so I would buy that over this just because that would be a lot healthier. But these taste really good, just like the cranberry dark chocolate ones. Mm. Now we have Poterongu garlic steak. For this one, it says, Poterongu tastes just like french fries, but come in a more diverse set of flavors. This month, we are going all out with a garlic steak flavor that is an awesome savory taste. I'm actually scared to try these. I haven't had meat in months. Does this have actual meat? It tastes like steak or chicken ramen. Ramen? 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 <laughs> why can I not say it? Ramen. That sounds so weird right now. I don't know why. It does taste like steak, but I am not the biggest fan. It's just weird. You know, it's like your french fry tastes like steak. If you really love steak and french fries, you might like this, but it's not really doing it for me. And I'm sorry to be negative. I really want to be positive, but I have to be honest. Now we are going to try this sweet and sour Nakano Kombu snack. Kombu is kelp, and it is a traditional Japanese snack. The sweet, sour, and savory flavor make it a fun snack to chew on while you're watching a long movie. What is sea kelp? Am I just ignorant? What is that? Ooh, it comes in little strands. Ah! No, I can't even swallow it. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was the worst thing I have ever tasted. That was gross. I'm sorry. I guess now I know I don't really like kelp, but that was really bad. Yeah, that was really bad. To wash off the flavor, we are going to grab this soda right here. It is called Futatsu no Shokan Soda. Yeah. <laughs> Jelly Melon. It says spring into action like your favorite action movie star by working those muscles. Hmm? What? Shake the can to mix the jelly and melon soda for a unique mix of textures and flavors. Uh, so we shake it? I'm just gonna go like this because when you shake soda, you know, like it explodes. Okay, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, what if it explodes? Oh. Okay. Before we try it, you must know that I do not like soda and oh my gosh, that smells like melon. That smells really good. But I don't like soda. The reason why I don't like soda is because when I was five years old, someone put a chicken leg in Coca-Cola for a week and a tooth also. And in one day, the chicken leg and the tooth were completely black. In three days, it started disintegrating and in a week, it was almost completely gone and they said that that would happen to your bones. So I stopped drinking soda and now when I drink soda, I can't really taste much. I just taste a lot of sugar, but not much flavor. So that's the reason why I don't really like soda. But let's go ahead and try this. 
Whoa, that's super weird. There's actual jelly in here. Oh my god, that's so weird! If you like soda, you are going to love this flavor. And about the texture, it's just like completely unusual. Can you see the jelly? Jelly, 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 jelly. It's good. I mean, if you like soda, you are going to love this. I don't even like soda and I like it. It's so unusual. I'm, I am completely mind blown. How can... I have no words. <laughs> now we are going to try carrot rice puffs. Let's read it. So it says, spring is a season for bunnies. So why not celebrate them with this carrot snack? The cute carrot-shaped packaging holds inside it small rice puffs in a sugar glaze. Oh no, I broke it! Aww, there's a bunch of little rice puffs in there. Oh my gosh, this looks so good! I feel like they will go great with a little bit of uh, coconut milk, like as a cereal kind of thing. Is that how bunnies eat? So good! So good! Mm -mm. So good! Cause I got you! Mm -mm -mm -mm. I need to put this away before I finish it. Now we are going to try Pacuncho chocolate. For this one it says, Mickey and other Disney characters are stamped on these yummy chocolate filled cookies. See if you can collect them all. Do not make me collect them all. Cause I will. I am almost 100% positive these are going to taste like those panda snacks that I actually have on my pantry. Is this how you open it? How do you open this thing? Who is texting me? I hear it, but I don't see it. Okay, so it says Easter happiness. I am guessing this was for Easter. Easter themed. How do you open this? Oh. 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 Aww. That is so cute. Look at that little bag inside. I adore cute packaging. I 100% value cute packaging and presentation over taste. Which is bad. I don't know. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Each cookie has a Disney character. This one has the frog from Princess and the Frog. Well, it's actually the prince, so I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. All right, let's see if I can focus on it. Mmm. Oh. oh my gosh, these are better than the pandas. They have a bunch of different Disney characters. This is amazing. It's the best day of my life. So good. 100 out of 10. These are amazing. Don't want them to be gone. Oh, they got Pooh Bear. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I don't want to eat them all, but they're so good. Sorry, Pooh. I only have three things left, and uh, the third to last thing is this thing right here. This thing, this lollipop, I mean. It says, lollipops are the answer to a sweet tooth's dilemma of wanting to have candy at a movie, but not wanting to make a mess. Plus, who doesn't like lollipops anyway? How do I open this up? How do I open this up? Aw, it's a tiny little foot! Aw, that's adorable! Oh my god. <laughs> that's kind of weird, sucking on a foot. Mmm, super sticky. Can like attach to my teeth. <laughs> Ow. It has good flavor, just like a lollipop, but do not bite on it. It's not even attached to your teeth. Then we have new Fue Ramune. We are back with more whistle candies, but this time in a Ramune flavor. You can whistle like the cute little birds on the package. A reminder that spring is finally, finally, finally here. So they taste like Ramune? I thought it was a regular mint. The texture is like those mints at Chick-fil-A that break in your mouth by barely chewing it. But I like the flavor. It actually does taste like Ramune. Mm -hmm. So it's said to whistle? We have reached the final candy in our box. And we have Nerikcho Soft Ice Cream Strawberry. It says, with this DIY kit, you'll be able to make soft served ice cream in a unique foamy candy form. It even comes with a wafer cone to serve your handmade ice cream. Ooh, cool. Let's see it. Wow. Wow. Aww. There's three little waffle cones. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so tiny. Uh, so the instructions are in Japanese. But pretty much I think they're pouring this in and then adding water. 10 cc. Let's smell it. Mmm. It smells like strawberry Nesquik. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I gotta show you. I wanna try the powder. Mm, tastes good. Then we are going to add some water. Adding a few. 
few drops first. And then we stood it. Okay, it needs more than that. <gasps> it's coming out the other end. Okay, that looks like enough water. So we are going to mix, mix, mix. This is so fun. I like that they have those DIY little kits. The more I mix it, the foamier it gets. Science! So we are going to take a little bit of this. We're going to grab a waffle cone. We're going to put it on top. This is so fun. Okay, let's try and make it look like a, like a nice cream. I wish I could like twirl it around. So there it is, our beautiful ice cream. It looks so cute. Now, time to taste it. I think it's a little sour. Mmm. That's really sour. Alright, let's eat the whole thing. We are not going to be scrubs today. I don't want no scrub. Scrubs, I'm in the king. Get no love from me. I think it's foaming up in my mouth as I chew it. A little sour. A little sour. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. If you guys like this Japanese candy tasting video and you want me to make more videos like this where I try snacks from different countries, let me know in the description box down below. I will happily try anything for you guys. Well, not anything. Almost anything. Also, if you're watching this and you're trying to debate whether you should get this box or not, I would say definitely go for it, especially if you have never tried Japanese snacks. I am a Japanese lover. I love everything about Japan. The culture, the country, the snacks, the people, the fashion, the makeup. I love everything. Everything about Japan. If I could get a Japan crate every month, I would happily do it, but I understand that it's a little expensive and not a budget. So I would say get Japan crate at least once in your life. And if you can't really afford it, but I I like doing is almost every month I go to the international store and I get one or two snacks from there that look really tasty and then I try them with my friends and my family and we decide if we want to get them again or not and that way I have found a lot of different snacks from Japan from Korea and from China that I adore that I always have in my pantry so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up also since you're already here don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on my next video bye